So this is going to be our last video on the sign rule and we're going to look at the ambiguous case. Okay, and you'll see what the ambiguous case means uh, when we go through this example. So the example is asking us to draw a triangle ABC uh, where the length of AB is four centimeters, AC is three centimeters and this, this, what these symbols mean is the size of the angle, so that means angle, and those things mean the size of, okay, A, B, C, and that basically means the angle B, so whichever letter is in the middle, that's the angle they're looking for, okay? So between point A and point B is four centimeters, between point A and point C is three centimeters, and the size of the angle A, B, C is 44 degrees, and it's asking us to find the two possible angles of C, okay? So you'd probably be thinking, how can something possibly have two possible angles uh, and you'll see exactly what it means now in a second so this is going to be a b this is going to be 44 degrees okay and this last point is going to be c so what's going to happen is we're going to have two possible angles of c so if we'll have, we'll say C1 and C2, okay? So that's three centimeters, sorry, this is four centimeters. And this is also three centimeters. Oh, I drew that three backwards. Yeah, so there are two possible ways uh, where AC can be three centimeters. Both of these triangles can be true and it still follows all of these rules here. So we can use the sine rule to find the two possible angles uh, of this C here. So I'm just going to draw C1 in here and again C1 in here as well. Yeah, and always for angles we use capital letters and for the points outside angles we use capital letters and then if we're looking at the length of a side then we use um, small letters, okay? Uh, so we don't have any uh, small letters in this one here but just as all, all capital letters. If we were talking about this side here we wanted to call it say A, we'd call it small a. But anyway, we go about solving this just as we would any other uh, sine rule problem. So I'm going to write sine A over A is equal to sine B over B. Okay, so we can use the sine rule because we have two sides and we have one angle that we're looking for the last angle. Okay, so I'm going to write just sine of C. I'm not going to say actually that should be C2. Sorry, I'm just going to change a little bit even though it's blue. <clears throat> so uh, I'm just going to write sine of c, I'm not going to specify which one, divided by, so remember it's the side opposite it, so this time it's going to be 4, so 4 is opposite this one, and it's also opposite this angle c as well, it doesn't really matter where the angle c is, it's always just the side that's opposite it, okay, so 4 is still the side that's opposite it, so divided by 4 is equal to sine b, we're going to use this one, so sine of 44, divided by 3, because again in both cases, if it's this side or this side, that's it's three and it's still the side that's opposite this angle 44 here so divided by three okay so scroll down a little bit and I'll actually go across as well so I'm just gonna bring this down here so then I'm gonna multiply both sides by four so we're gonna be left then with sine of C is gonna be equal to four times sine 44 divided by three so I'll put that in brackets to show that it's different Okay, uh, and then again, that's just about sticking that into the calculator. Um, yeah, I'll stick with blue. Sine of C then is equal to 0 0.9262. And then if we want to get our angle C, we get C is equal to the inverse sine 0 0.9262. And again, I'll just... And C is equal to about 67.9 degrees. Okay, so just box that off. So you might think, oh, that's the answer, but not quite. So you can see that this angle here, that might be 67.9 because you can see it's acute, it's less than uh, 90 degrees. However, this one here is definitely not 67.9. It's larger than 90 degrees. Uh, so there's no way it can be 67.9. So how do we find this possible angle then? It's actually quite simple. What we do is we just say, so say we'll say that's C, no, that's C2. C2 is equal to 67.9 degrees. Then C1, we just say is equal to 180 minus 67.9 degrees. And that'll get us our number for C1. So that ends up being 
12.1 degrees. Okay, so those are our, those are <laughs> those are our two angles for C, the two possible angles, uh, and that's how you solve a problem if it says anything about the ambiguous case. If it says two possible angles, then you should know it's an ambiguous case question. You should use this method here to uh, to solve it. But again, hopefully that made sense, and we're going to look at how to get the area of triangles in the next video. Okay, see you then.